Do I want to take do I want to take your Sri Lanka lady? Maybe. Maybe I'll try. There your your wife or not? No, no, no. no. Where your wife? Where your wife? No, Where your wife? Just with your friends. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five people like. Ah, okay, okay. I just know this lady. You don't know these ladies. <laughs> yeah. No, talk. Talk to them. I tell them. I go tell them you want to talk, okay? I go tell them these ladies. These men want to talk. Good morning, Sri Lanka. As you can see, I'm at the train station. That's because I'm going to take a wee day trip, a wee two hour train ride down to Gaul, or Galli as it's pronounced in Sinhalese. Thank you. Into the fortified city of Gaul. See what's in here. Oh, some shade. Some shade at last. Your man is sweating his arse off right now. I'm gonna find some water somewhere soon. Emptied my supply that I brought with me of Sprite Zero and Coke Zero. Now I need something cold and wet to refresh myself. So, I've just hit the ATM machine and that's where I realised my face is black as I'm standing here, I will be looking in the mirror there and I notice my bloody face is covered in black suit because that was a steam train a bloody... <laughs> This is a bloody steam train, I'm getting all the black suit standing in the doorway for like uh, two, two hours so I'm going to have to go and find somewhere to wash my face I knew people were staring at me, I just thought because I'm a daft tourist with a selfie stick and I'm sweating my arse off that they're having a wee, a wee stare and a wee smile and a wee laugh but no, it is all that but it's also the fact my, I look like sooty so I uh, look like a bloody chimney sweep <laughs> I'm going to find somewhere, somewhere to wash all this muck off my face Okay, they don't sell tissues but she's only give me one I can wipe my face I take the train and there's a uh, smoke black uh, on my yeah. face I need to wipe Oh, thank you very much. You're very kind. Thank you. Okay, finally. Look at that. Black. Oh. See that? Oh. Yeah, I know. Filthy, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Okay. Man. Oh, here we go. Clock tower through here. Let's see if I can wipe this. Ah. Oh. Hopefully that's better. Now, I don't know. You tell me. I can't even can't even see. Uh, okay. There we go. There's our shed. Okay, that's better. Pour the water down my throat. Fake Under Armour cap that I bought from the market yesterday. Now we're loving it. Wait, there's a couple of... You'll never guess what's down there. A couple of random cows. Just... Just there. Tied up as well, as if that's where they belong. Like, somebody's using the fort as their wee mini farm that has only two cows and nothing else. I don't really understand why those cows would be there. But anyway, they are. Uh, yeah, this is nice. Nice for a wee stroll. There's just a few couples around here with their umbrellas. I could do an umbrella. Walk around. White boy, Michael Jackson style, hiding from the sun. <laughs> but, uh, oh, with the cap and shades. Factor 50 on the arms. Not too bad. There you go, it's all the couples with the umbrellas, they're all at it. This must be the, this must be the spot where you come. Where you come and get all romantic. You know, you ask a girl. She lives with her parents, you live with your parents. What do you do? Where do we go for a wee stroll? To be on our own? Ah, uh, here, Gulf Fort, sitting one of the wee, the wee bits where they shoot the arrows and sit under the umbrella and have a wee smooch. Must be nice. There we go, here next to the clock tower. That beautiful Sri Lankan flag. Sri Lanka does have one of the nicest flags of any country. 
but I've seen most country they just have a, a simple uh, three different, two different lines across or a, something like that. There you have this lion with a sword. I don't know what the history of that is. Uh, I'll maybe find out though. Right, this clock tower, is that saying the right time? Two o'clock, when's the last train? I think the very last train back to Colombo is at 4.50, so I've got maximum two, two hours and 50 minutes uh, to have a wee explore around here. I don't know how much there is to do. Let's just climb up. I don't know if you're supposed to come up here, but I'll do it anyway. Right, I don't know how much there is to do here. I'm just going to really have no plan other than to wander about and see what's here. It would be nice to go for a wee swim. I don't see any, anybody else doing it. Uh, don't know if it's possible. Didn't bring any swimming trunks, but uh, it's never stopped me before swimming in my boxers. Oh, swimming in the nude, as I did in Penang, Penang National Park. <laughs> Here we go. Good thing about coming to places like this in Sri Lanka is that if I was at, say, Edinburgh Castle, there's no way they'd just let me walk all over the bloody walls. They'd be like, hey, you. Get down for there! Get down for there! What do you think you're doing? It's out of bounds! No, nothing's out of bounds. When you come to develop parts of the, developing parts of the world uh, and you come to places like this, just crawl all over the crawl all over the historic monuments and uh, walls and do whatever you really feel like, to be honest. Uh, right. So I wonder if it's walls all the way around the city, because it's pretty big. That'll be a nice wee that'll be a nice wee walk all the way around. See people walking from that direction. So that'll be nice if that's the case. I'll take you on a wee a wee stroll around uh, around Gulf Fort. Oh, lovely breeze! Lovely breeze! Oh, that's what you want when it's like 34, 35 degrees C. You want that sea breeze. You, you don't want to be stuck in a city, like Bangkok for example, when it's like 40 degrees and no, no breeze because the buildings are so high and then you've got all the pollution. It can, be, it can be tough. Here, oh this is lovely. I'm getting sunburnt. I'm getting desperately sunburned, but I'm not feeling it. So that's the point. I can actually enjoy the moment, at least. Some fellow travellers here. Good afternoon guys. Good afternoon. Look happy. They've had a good wee stroll. Right. So. What I love about places like this, Go, is a World Heritage Site. It's ancient, but you don't have to pay to get in, and there's still people living within the walls, living their normal lives, as they have for hundreds of years, people have lived within these walls. So it's not been like closed off and turned into some tourist attraction. I mean, there are tourists here, but it's not like you have to pay to get through a gate or anything like that or, uh, or whatever. So that's pretty nice. Okay. I'm going to disturb a, a smooching couple. That's a run and jump. Another smooching couple. That's a run and jump. And another smooching couple. Oh, this is fun. And another. And another. Oh, God, they're everywhere. And another. And another. And another. Every single, every single alcove has a smooching couple. And I'm spying on all of them. Literally, every one. There's not one free. You must have to get here early to reserve your spot. Don't tell the Germans about it. The Germans will be putting, putting sun towels down on the alcoves, <laughs> reserving their spot for later in the afternoon. Oh, this is nice. I really am enjoying, enjoying the breeze. Oh. Best of all, today's entertainment is free. I have spent a quid on a train fare, it's 240 rupees. It's like one dollar thirty or something. That's all I've spent all day. Well, apart from that bottle of water, that's seventy as well. I had to wash my face and have a wee drink though, didn't I? Right, again. Smitching couple, umbrella. Smitching couple, umbrella. Jump. Smitching couple, smitching couple. Yes, umbrella. And this one, I think, was empty. Oh, just need to find a girl now. I can get myself under there. A girl and an umbrella. That's what I need. Right, let's go. Okay, so I've had three guys, three different guys try to scam me today already. Not in Gaul, but actually in Colombo and on the way to Gaul. First of all, get out of the hotel. Some man walks beside me. 
I'm walking pretty fast. Your man right here walks pretty fast. So, whenever somebody's walking in parallel with me, right beside me, they definitely want something. They're definitely not just, it's just, it's definitely not just circumstance that they happen to be walking beside me and strike up a conversation. He's trying for something. So it's the same as yesterday and it's pretty much the same spot. Some guy starts asking me about where I'm going in Sri Lanka and blah, blah, blah. Ain't got any time for it. He's obviously on the scam. Tell him to do one. Oh, hello, what are these guys doing? You going for a wee swim? That looks like a lovely spot down there. Oh, nice. Don't have any swimming trunks. Boxer short swim. No towel either. Just dry off in the sun. What do I think? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Anyway, I'll tell you a wee story. Right, second of all, at the train station. I'm way to go and buy tickets. And, whoa. I'm way to go and buy my ticket. Some block comes up to me and says, no, no, tickets over here, tickets over here. And he points to a man. Right, obviously that's some, some random guy standing at the train station is not going to buy my tickets. I buy it from the ticket counter. And last of all, I'm on the train. Some guy comes up to me, starts being all friendly, tell me, tells me he lives in Germany, but he's back visiting his family. Where are you going? Gaul. No, don't go to Gaul. Go to this one or two stops before Gaul. Oh, there's these uh, islands you can visit. I can arrange a boat for you and all that. Oh, my uncle has a boat and my brother has this. And you, this is so much better. Gaul, everything closed, everything closed. It's Sunday, don't go to Gaul. And he's desperate. I'm giving him excuses why I want to go, go to Gaul. I want to see the Dutch. I want to see what the Dutch built all those years ago. I don't need anything to be open. I just want to go have a wee look around me. No, don't go this bad. Gaul, very bad. Come to whatever this place is called. I'm like, after a while, I'm just like, mate, I'm not interested, sorry. Talk to someone else. Uh, so, that's obviously his, that's obviously, obviously his scam. He just, every day gets on that train trying to coerce tourists into boat rides and whatever stupid little part of the coast that he's got his scam set up on. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, that just seems to be a feature of Sri Lanka. People coming up to you, trying to pretend to be your friend and trying to scam you. Oh, it's bad as India. India, anywhere where there was tourists, it was just non-stop. Here it's not too bad, it's just now and again. But when you know what they're up to, it's not that much of an inconvenience. You just tell them to do one, and they do one. Oh, wow. Beautiful white lighthouse right there. That's lovely. I wonder if you can go up that. I don't see anybody up it. But this is nice. Man, nice a nice place to take photos. Unfortunately, I don't have a friend. You can come and take photos for me. I don't really want to be one of those guys who are strangers. Hey, I do have a selfie stick. Okay, let's just let's just take one right here. <laughs> there we go. I'll grab a screenshot of that. That'll be my photo standing in front of the lighthouse. Brilliant. Nice. I'm starting to notice way more tourists. As long as the tourists are beautiful girls, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind them being here. Okay. Sorry, ruined that guy's photo. selling hats, wonder if they're as cheap as the one I got yesterday and handicrafts it's pretty nice hello sir, how are you? I'm all right now, maybe on the way back thank you, I can jump over this one easy there we go, that's how you do it yeah, they're discussing, how do we get across there? you jump, that's what you do, you just jump you grow some balls and you jump and here are the families all the kids enjoying their day at the beach this is lovely, what a picture this is all these people enjoying themselves Look at that. Yeah, that really is nice to see. Sunday afternoon, day off, no work, take the kids to the beach, just enjoy life. You live around here, you can do that every single weekend. You know, you might be, you might be just a farmer, growing coconuts, not making that much money or whatever, but your life is brilliant compared to somebody back home, all stressed, trying to pay their car payments and their mortgage and worried about going into negative equity and worried about the retirement fund and this and that and the bloody other thing, innit? These guys come to the beach and chill, go home, drink a few coconuts. Alright, let's see if I can go down there. 
it doesn't look like I'm getting down that way. Wait, there's some steps there. How do I do this? Right, run and jump again. Okay, just need to have balls. Okay, here we go. Hop! Ah. Run down here. Here we go. Front slip. There we are. Safety. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? How are you? Fine. Yeah, good. good. Did you live in Gaul? Yeah, good. Okay, that's a nice, that's a nice city you have. Yeah, thank you, you can so much. You can come here every week, right? Right, thank you. Just relax in the sea, nice. Yeah. Don't have to pay any money, just come to the beach, have fun, huh? Yeah. That's good, huh? Yeah, enjoy. You're very lucky to, you're very lucky to live here. Me, I'm from Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, very cold country, that's why now, very sweaty, very hot. Very hot But now. it's okay. Maybe I jump in the sea and cool down. Okay, nice to meet you, my friend. Have a, have a good day. Okay. Friendly locals. Okay. I don't want to take a dip in the sea. Thing is, if I go, there, if I go in there in my boxer shorts, I'm going to come out with a wet pair of boxer shorts. And uh, then what? I thought I'd just walk around Gulf City but in, in my boxer shorts, soaking wet, like... Right, so I've taken a wee detour from walking around the Fort Walls. I'm at the Dutch Hospital shopping precinct where all these wee shops are selling their arts and crafts. Right, I'm looking for somewhere where I can buy a towel. Not a particularly nice towel. No, not one with a high thread count cotton or anything like that. I just want a towel that I can use one time to take my to hide my to hide my private parts while I take my wet boxer shorts off after I take a dip in that sea. That guy's waving at me from Tuk Tuk's never going to happen, mate. Ever, ever, ever. Going to Use your services. <laughs> right. Towel somewhere. Oh there's one. Could just grab that. A bit small though to cover my junk. Right. Oh this is nice. Try fitting one of them in my luggage. I mean I'm pretty sure that's that's bigger than my bloody backpack that I brought to I brought with me here. Yeah, lovely old church there. It's all by the Dutch 1755. That's ancient. I wonder if I can just walk in. No ticket required to have a look in this wee place. This Protestant church. Alright, that was nice. That's all you need. A couple of seconds, you can see everything. How are you, son? Now, it looks like that shortcut I took has taken me back to the entrance. So I've still got like 2 hours and 20 minutes before the train back to Colombo. So what I'm probably gonna do is there was that first wee bit where there was people in the water, but it was just like five or six Sri Lankan guys. You know the bit where there was loads of people and kids and that, there was just like five or six Sri Lankan men. I remember quite uh, quite early in the trip around the fort. Uh, what I wanted to go do there is see if I can just, if the tide hasn't come in there, just jump in there in my boxer shorts and try and dry myself off in my t-shirt and I've got a spare t-shirt and a spare pair of boxers in my bag that I just remembered I brought. I didn't bring them because I thought I was going to go swimming or anything like that. If I thought I was going to go swimming, I would have brought, would have brought my swimming trunks, which are in my, my hotel room, and a towel from the hotel. You know, I brought them because I thought I was going to be a sweaty Scotsman, and I'm a sweaty Scotsman. Uh, so that is the reason I brought them, but that could come in handy. So that is the plan. Didn't find a towel in any of those uh, fancy arty shops that were just selling like overpriced women's dresses and stuff like that so uh, rather than buy a woman's dress to dry myself with I'm gonna uh, my plan now my plan now is dry myself with my t-shirt jump in the water my boxers get changed find somewhere to have lunch and then get my arse back to Colombo so that is the plan let's do it ah uh, here we go that's where we were before this is where we were before uh, nice quiet bit so I'm gonna Try and get my kit off in that wee corner and then jump in the water. Hopefully my, my wallet, my phone and all that's going to be safe down there. Uh, let's get down here. And down these steps. Ah, oh, this is nice. Semi secluded. Hopefully. I can just leave my stuff in here and have a wee swim. Ah. Oh.
Okay, here we go. What's our short swimming? Oh, lovely. Oh, that's nice and cold. Oh, that's better. That is better. Good afternoon, how are you? Ah, nice and cold. Up there, too hot. Here, nice. This, too hot. This, nice temperature. Here we go. I'm from Scotland. From Scotland. Yeah. And me, I'm from Scotland. Where are you from? From Gaul? Yeah. Ah, that's a nice city you have. Huh? I don't know. Yeah. Ah. This is nice. Huh? This is really nice. You can come yeah. here every day if you yeah, want, right? Don't have to pay any money, just come. Yes. Yeah, relax. Rio. Yes. My country also have beach, but too cold. Nobody go. Nobody go. Nobody go, because they will die. If they come and stay here five minutes in the sea, they're dead. Yes. Finish. But body also very good right here. No? But body also very good. I'm uh, every day washing here. Really? You're washing in the very good. sea? Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You're yes. lucky to uh, live uh, next to something so beautiful. Yes, guy. I'm You're very lucky. Where yeah. oh. are you, cousin? Scotland. Scotland, you know, next to England. But better than England, better than England. Not better in the cricket, but better in everything else. Uh, in Sri Lanka, everyone keeps the country very nice and beautiful. Nice. Yeah, it's very nice to see. Some people have bad people. Have. Yeah, uh, everywhere have some bad people. Yes. But, uh, not many in Sri Lanka. Most people have good heart in Sri Lanka. <laughs> it's nice to see. Yeah, I have a very good impression of your country. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I am talking to the Sri Lanka people. Very good. Yeah, good. Oh. This is just what I needed. After that hot, sweaty walk around. Is that? Monday, No, I go uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Monday, I go in the water at Leah. Yeah. yeah. After that, I will go to Sigiriya. Uh, I'll go to Sigiriya. Yeah, Sigiriya. Play man. Huh? I don't know where this is. Siri like uh, Oh yeah, I go. Last time I go walk the steps, they call it in English Adam's Peak. Adam's Peak, that's a Siri Pata, right? Siri Siri Pata. Siri Pata. Siri Pata. Yeah, there's a walking up uh, stairs like this. Yeah, 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 I go before. I go, uh, I start walking 3 a.m. and go to the top for the sun. For, yeah, for the sun coming up. And, uh, at the top, the temple, and they chanting like this. It's very nice. Yes, very nice. I walk down, there's waterfalls. Oh, yes. Very beautiful. Yes. 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 Do I want to take Sri Lanka lady? Do I want to take Sri Lanka lady? Maybe. Maybe I'll try. Where your, your wife or no? No, no, no. Where are your wife? Where are your no, wife? No, Where are your wife? No, Just no, with your friends? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five people like that. Ah, okay, okay. I just know these ladies. You oh, don't know no. these ladies? <laughs> yeah. Oh, talk. Yeah. Talk to them. I tell them. I go tell them you want to talk, okay? I go tell them these ladies, these men want to talk. Yes, I'll come around. Sri Lankan ladies, they shy or no? No. They're not shy? You can talk to them? No, I even told you. You want to talk? Good talk, only. I don't oh. like talk. Really, you don't like talk? Yeah. Only like one thing. Okay. You don't like? I like, but uh, it's a bit too honest. Ah. At least you're honest. It's good. Yeah. Okay, I tell, I tell them you won't do this. Tell them, go. Oh. Hey, hey. Hello. He want, he want to do something with you. <laughs> <laughs> you had a good time. You had a good time. Yeah. And we're good for eating the food in here. Everything here is very expensive, right? You have to go outside the fort. You don't eat inside. Don't eat inside the office. Yeah, they're charging like five times, six times. Yeah. You are other country coming. Yeah. Other country people here coming. Too much money, you know? Yeah, so the uh, owners are but charging. Are you going to uh, buy some uh, salmon? Mm -hmm. Maybe 100? Go there, maybe 1,000 like that. Really? Oh, yeah, ten yeah. times. Ten inside, times. Yeah. Oh, okay. Inside, uh, you all go inside. Uh, yeah, right. Everywhere in the fort, yeah, no good. Yeah. I can outside, see that. No yeah. You take one toby, yeah. 100, but you take one toby, one rupee. One rupee? <laughs> one rupee? No way. Yeah. One rupee. <laughs> What's your job? Electrician. Electrician, huh? Telecom. Telecoms, huh? Carpet. 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 
Hey, but uh, <laughs> if he drinking, where he get the money for drinking? Where he get the money for drinking? These people, yes. Yes. No, no. These people have too much. How uh, are you thinking about brother? Have brother. Mm. He has go there. Ask uh, you buy money. This guy go back buy. Drink. Oh really? Oh like this? Oh okay. That's how he live his life. Good. This life. Come it's it's like if you have fun, it's okay. If you're having fun, it's okay. Come in police, run. Really? Oh. oh okay. This good try. Oh. What's your name? My name is Dale. 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 Yeah. What is your name? Delusia. Delusia? Oh, yeah. What's your name? Targa. Targa. Walid. Walid. Pleased to meet you. This is an Arabic name. <laughs> no, Walid not Arabic. Walid. 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 Oh, Walid. Oh, Walid. Oh, okay. I thought you say Walid. Is a Walid an Arabic? Arabic yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wallah. Oh. This guy is Arabic. Oh. Salam alaikum, sir. Salam alaikum. Do you know Arabic language? Yes, a little bit, a little bit. I know a little bit every little, language. Little, little, you know Arabic language? I know a little, just a little bit. Little, little, every little. language I know a little bit, little uh, bit, you know? Allah, Mudu, Allah, same, same. Yeah, I know, just, just wow. a little Halas. Halas is Finnish. Finnish, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I don't this fuck. Was it? Okay, I learned a new word today. He never buy the sun cream in his life. Never need. It's good. You like this color? It's good, yes. yes. <laughs> he can stay here in the sun all day. Not, not go right, not go right. Like this guy, you bring to your country. Yes. Oh, if he come to my country, the girls, they, they very like this. They're like, oh, really? Can they see? Did you see? All these men, white like me, they don't like. Can they see you? You're like, oh, exotic. I want, I want, really. If you go to my country, you're very successful, very successful. <laughs> yeah, the girls will like. They will like. They like mahogany. Yeah, mahogany. Yeah. You say okay. Give me one hundred. Yeah, the girls. Every country, the girls like someone that's different from their own from their own men. Yeah. You know some children like this color. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Every country, they like what is different to the the men who are there. Yeah. You go there. Yeah. Some lady coming half clothes. Ah, okay. Okay, I go. I go now. No. Bad idea. Please come for me if I do this, right? Ah, okay. Don't know English. Badagan. Badagan. No. You're telling me something bad. I do not trust. I do not trust to talk, go up to some woman and say say Bagadag. I love you. I love you, huh? I love you. Really? I love you. You know, Badagan, Badagan. Badagan. I love you, Sri Lanka language. Okay. Adri. Huh? Adri, Adri. Adri, Adri. Adri. I go, I say Adri. No, 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 no. I don't trust you. You're saying something bad. You're saying something bad. Really? Yeah, but it's, it's true, but don't say to the woman. Angry. Oh, Angry, okay. And they have their baby with them as well, yeah. Punch. Oh, yeah. You don't you? I punch. No problem. Okay. okay, I'm going to be nice today. I'm not going to upset upset the local. Adri, Adri. Adri, Adri, Okay. But, but you know this Sri Lanka language is better good. Mm. You, uh, you know, Mohammed, uh, how are you? Yes, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Mohammed. 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 Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't trust you. I want to read a book and find out what it is. Yeah. Not promise, not promise, promise. Why he laugh? Why he laugh? Ah, this guy every day laugh. Okay, okay, okay. But he does no language. Okay. So what is it? Adare. 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 Okay. So I find the policeman. I say to him, Oh, Adare. Adare. Not Adare. Yeah. That Adare mix. Adare. I love you. Adare. I love you. I love you, Mama. Mohammed. Mohammed mix. Mohammed. How are you? How are you? Uh, okay. Fine mix. Uh, Andre. Andre. Uh, you, you cold. You shaking. I can yes, see you cold. Yes, yes. That's cold for you. Yes. That's lovely for me. That's perfect. That's yes. perfect for, yes. for me. Yeah. You go there. Kohamade. Kohamade. He's telling Hondari. 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 I will ask Kohamade. Hondari. 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 
Not talk, not talk. Same in uh, Sri Lanka, you not talk to the woman in uh, like this. Lady? Lady, yeah, you don't, uh, you don't talk to the lady like uh, you know, around the under lady. Lady, what? We here. Uh huh. Ah, oh, like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, pussy? Yeah, I know, pussy. Who's the hell here? Uh, they have here, yeah? Yeah. How is them? See this thing? Oh, I'm very beautiful. Oh, like this. Girl, not, yeah. yeah, not want to talk, uh, not like this. Uh, yeah. Really, yeah. So if you want to meet a woman, what do you do? You play, you play Tinder app or what do you do to meet a... If you want to meet a, girl, what, a lady. Lady. Yes. Uh, how you do? You go to nightclub or uh, yes. bar like this. Nightclub, uh, dancing. Yes. That's a good way, yeah? Yes. Oh, you learn? Okay. Huh? You learn? I don't want uh, because tomorrow we'll leave train 5 uh, five uh, a.m. How about yeah. Langai? Yeah. Langai? No, no. You, you like to talk? You, you want to talk to the lady? What? Really, you mean I want to pay money or one uh, I just be nice and she she do it like that? Like yeah, that's what I like. Not, you take no, not, not, not no, no, not pay the money. That's not fun. That's not fun. Not fun. Fun? Fun? You go, you meet, you chat, you yeah. say, hey, hello. Yeah. My name is Dale. Pleased to meet you. Where are you from? <laughs> oh, what a lovely dress you have. What a nice shade of lipstick you're wearing. Charm the lady. And then she give for free. Yeah. And then this, uh, I feel like I'm I winning, winning. I feel like I. I uh, yeah. successful, you know? Yeah, yeah no, no. It's more good. No, no, I feel more good. good. But, uh, money, money. Ah, yes, yes, I know. Yeah, you want to, you know, love? Love, love only part. Talking, only love. talking, uh -huh. after fucking you. Uh -huh. You go, pay money, fucking... Uh, in Sri Lanka, how much these women uh, cost them? 2,000, 3,000. Oh, it depends on the quality of the, the lady. Starting 2,000. Yeah. This, this, uh, not no, very no. nice. You starting 500. Starting 500? Yeah, not good. What are you going for 500? <laughs> yes, I can't imagine how bad. Yeah. This Columbia, is like... Columbia, Columbia, uh, 500. 500, huh? Uh, uh, 2,000, no problem good. 2,000, 2,000 good for a good one, yeah? yeah starting 2,000. Yeah. And 5,000, like supermodel. Yeah. Ah, okay. Age, age, uh, age uh, 21, 28, uh -huh. 3,000. 3,000, ah, okay. This is interesting. Beautiful girl. Beautiful, huh? You go on 40,000. Hey, I know, I know, I pay tourist <laughs> price. Ah, 2 million, 2 million they want. 10,000, maybe 10,000. 10,000, ah, yeah. You want to go over? Yeah. Go over there. Go over there. Come on, there, come on, there. Okay, I'm gonna go dry off and uh, go outside the fort to find some food, not inside, but for, for eating. Yeah. Okay, okay, guys, nice to meet all of you. Yeah, okay, now I go, yeah. Nice to meet you, it's fun. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your drinking, enjoy. And you too. Nice to meet you. Enjoy, enjoy your day. See you, see you guys. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, friendly locals. Okay guys, nice to okay, see you. Bye -bye. See you again. Okay. Maybe next year I come back, yes. I see you again. Okay, Find you easy. on a Sunday, swimming yeah, in the sea. Okay, Sunday. okay see, see you guys. Okay, bye -bye. Nice meeting you. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, those guys were pretty friendly. That was nice. Nice wee chat with the locals. And I just left my bag while I was swimming with my phone and my wallet, which has like enough money for two months for the average Sri Lankan wage in it. And didn't feel worried at all. Uh, all those people there seem like pretty trustworthy. Doesn't seem the kind of place where somebody's gonna, like, it's not like Koh Yan or something like that where yeah, if you leave something valuable on the beach, you go for a wee swim, you've got pretty much zero chance of finding it when you come back. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. Nice to be in a place like this. Well, that was nice. I'd happily visit there again. Right, so those lads suggested I get out of the fort, which I have, and find myself some grub then. 
so let's see if we can find some Sri Lankan priced food. Well, here's an interesting thing about Sri Lanka is that cafes or restaurant cafeterias are called hotels here. See this one, National Hotel. You think that's a place where you can stay for the night? It's not. That place is a restaurant. They just call them hotels for some strange reason. So what I'm going to do is check myself in at one of these hotels for half an hour to get a bite to eat. Uh, that one looks like it's probably going to be decent, but I'm going to, do, I'm going to take a wee walk up this alleyway first and see what's there. I'm thinking if one of them is going to screw me over, it might be that one just because it's the one that's closest to the train station. But uh, I'll have a wee look down here. That's 10 rupee samosas. That is cheap as chips. 10 rupees. That's like four pence British, like like five, five and a half cents American for one samosa. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, how cheap do you want to eat? Right, see what these are doing here. So, uh, so these also got these also got snacks, but these ones are like 50, 40. They look much better though. Right. Have a further walk down the alleyway. They're all selling these things everywhere. These spring roll and samosa and pancake type looking things. Everywhere. Everywhere is selling these. What are they? What are these? Oh, I don't know if I fancy getting food poisoning today. It's a bit, it's a bit early in the trip to be uh, writing off the whole trip like last time. If you read my blog about my last trip to Sri Lanka, you'll understand. Lost the last couple of days spewing out both ends. Right, so we just came out of the train station. There's a, a bus station there as well. So that's why there's all these little eateries everywhere. Oh, this place looks more legit. The South Ceylon Bakery looks more legit. Selling decent cakes and all that. Pretty expensive compared to some of the local places down there. Let's just have a wee look inside. See what's going on here. Egg rolls. See, this is how I got sick the last time. And the little cafe outside the Pinawala Elephant Orphanage. They were selling some egg pastries. And they'd probably been sitting there for days and that's what made me sick. And that is the reason I'm going to avoid eating in that place, even though that does look quite tasty right now. I want to find somewhere where I can get something cooked fresh or something that just looks like it's not going to kill me. That looks, <laughs> that looks nice and sweet. I think those are Indian style, Indian style confectionery. Right. I just, I just don't want to buy something that looks like it was left there the whole day, like this stuff. Hello. How much are one? How much you pay for one? How much one? One hundred. One hundred? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You want? Huh? You want? Yes. One. Okay. Looks like it was made with tap water, it's probably gonna kill me. I'll give it a go. Thank you, my friend, thank you. No, yeah, very nice. Right, I probably got overcharged for that. 
I was trying to ask the guy next to me how much is one. He either didn't know English or wouldn't answer me. this here? Chicken? Chicken, chicken. Oh, okay. And this what? Oh, it comes together. Chicken pasta. Okay, yeah, one plate, please. Yeah, this. One. Oh, oh it comes to oh, chicken pasta or chicken and rice. Okay. Okay, chicken and rice is good, yes. Yes. It's hot, hot. I want to eat here. Eat here, yes, please. Cream soda flavor. This is spoon. Okay, spoon is good. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Nice. Okay, train back to Colombo and your man actually got a seat on this one. Fantastic. The legs do need a rest after walking around Gaul all day. Anyway, Tok spend for the day, for this day trip to Gaul. Tok spend the whole day, including transportation. 1,100 rupees, that's like six dollars or five quid. I'm pretty happy with that, that's a good value, day trip. Anyway, if you made it this far through this long video, I reckon that must mean you think it's worth giving a thumbs up to, and my channel is probably worth subscribing to, because there will be more videos like this coming very soon. So, for now guys, take care, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.